Okay, okay, we were off to a bit of a rough start, but it is running now. Uh, no, I haven't put anything back together, and I'm not ready to move my old computer out of its spot yet, so just want to make sure everything is good to go. Uh, I'm running an MSI Tomahawk Mag 2790, and apparently, let me see if I can get you guys in there. I can't turn on the lights, but there are debug LEDs up there. Uh, and apparently it is common for the MSI motherboards to show up the debug LED, but there's a problem with your VGA, which is basically your graphics card in this case. So I've got a 4070 in there. Um, and for some reason, the way to fix this is like you have your slot for HDMI up on the actual motherboard, but there's also one from the graphics card. And it's supposed to be that you plug it in, turn on the computer, the graphics card recognizes that something is happening. Outputs to your monitor. Sure, that's all fine and dandy. But, uh, unfortunately, you, my cable management is not that good. Let's ignore that for now. Um, this is the first machine I've ever built myself. So yeah, just wanted to say that in order to fix that particular problem, uh, at least what I did and apparently what a lot of people do, is you go in and you pop the CMOS battery. Uh, and then you go in and you unplug the CPU power cable. This is, of course, making sure the machine's already off. You want to unplug the power, flip the switch, then go in, pop out the CMOS battery down there, pop out the CPU cables, um, hold the power button. You can also tap it a bunch of times if you want. It's up to you. Uh, but you just want to discharge whatever electricity is running through there. Uh, then you're going to... Pop your CMOS battery back in, pop your CPU cables back in, plug in directly to the graphics card, and power on the machine, and it should then bring up your monitor. Yes, this setup is incredibly weird. I'm There's just crap everywhere. But my first machine that I built myself is up and running, and I am so pleased. <laughs>